Um, I teach jiu-jitsu um, more for sport just because that's my focus, but I also try to teach them some self-defense aspects. My students is actually a police officer in Vancouver, so I'll teach her some things that she can use on potential suspects. Um, I've teach him, taught him how to use like a hoodie as a gi um, and how to do some chokes and controls from there. I think women's jiu-jitsu has definitely evolved since I started. I started in, I think 2005 is when I first put a gi on and I was the only woman. Um, I'm still often the only woman, but there's so many more women, there's more women competing. Um, when I first started and competed at Blue Belt, there were like a handful of girls and now there's like each division at Worlds has like 30 girls in it, which is awesome. Um, the higher ranks are still slow to grow, but that's going to be like that. Um, but I think it's definitely growing in a positive direction, and it's cool to see so many women out there competing. Um, and some of the girls here at Industrial Strength, they're girls that never would have tried jiu-jitsu if they hadn't seen it here and I hadn't encouraged them. So I think having more women's only classes for beginners is really helpful. When I first started, training partners were really hard to find. Um, I would roll with a lot of big guys that would just try to kill me. And that wasn't very conducive to growing with jiu-jitsu. Um, I learned how to defend myself. I had no attacks. I didn't really have an attack-based game at all until probably halfway through my blue belt. I think it took finding the right gym. Um, and some place like Impact has so many different people and different body types and different personalities that it's really helped find the right people. Lana Stefanik, she's, but she's not competing anymore. She's in the Bay Area um, and she's like my size, so it's kind of cool. And she's been a pioneer in women's jiu-jitsu. I like Leticia Hibero a lot too.